The Cardinals have allowed just one run to the Pirates in the first two games of the series. And Partney always feel good when you've got Sonny Gray pitching here, who has been on a great roll, not just in St. Louis, but everywhere he has pitched for the Cardinals. So 160 innings for him. And when this is caught, it'll be 161 even as Walker gallops in from right. IKF is down one man away here at the top of the first. And on the ground, that'll be a piece of cake for Paul Goldschmidt. Two quick outs on seven pitches. And Joey Bart is next. The pitch outside corner, strike three call. Good play to half inning. The Pirates failed to gain a base runner, and the Cardinals are coming up. Some nerves going on right now for. Jake Woodford has the uh, best two games on the road. Maybe that will help out a little bit. Jake Woodford is round pick 2015 by the Cardinals. Swinging a ground ball right to second base. Nick Gonzalez there tonight. Flips it on the first for the out. Here's Alec Burleson, the DH. Struck oh, him yeah. out. Wow, got a call. Say that's why you don't want to take it when it's close. I don't think he would have been able to hit that anywhere. Oh, yeah. A backdoor breaking ball. And in the right center field over. La Cruz is there. Paul Goldschmidt retired. One, two, three. On to the second. They want to finish strong in anticipation of 2025. There's a strike call. That's inside corner, just above the knees. The second strikeout for Gray is Andrew McCutcheon. This guy will not take anything close. No, he's going to swing. And into left center field for Nick Gonzalez, wasting no time and a one-out single. One of those guys that. Uh, they always used to say, hey, first pitch hitter, you got to be really careful with it. Pitch, it's on the ground, runner goes. Mason's going to have one play. Bad throw, and that pulls Goldschmidt off the bag. So De La Cruz hustling down the line, forced a bad throw from Mason Wynn, and two aboard with one out. So after the win error, that's his 17th. Nick York had three hits yesterday. That's toward right, and no trouble for Jordan Walker. Gonzalez at second. Here comes the throw. It's going to be off target. No further advance by De La Cruz. And the Pirates have runners first and third now with two outs. And now taking off for second and no throw. Stolen base for De La Cruz. The frequency isn't as high as some teams, but yeah, they have the highest percentage. And that is strike three called. Riolo strikes out looking. Three strikeouts all called so far for Sonny. And that leaves two on at second and third. St. Louis will come to bat in the bottom of the second inning. No score. There's a liner into left field. Not hard hit, but with two strikes, Arenado is the first Cardinals base runner. Good start to the second inning. A leadoff single. So Brendan Donovan a chance to move him along. Donovan's had a super September, hitting 340 this month. Swing! It's a 2-0. Pretty impressive a swing of the bat right there by Brendan Donovan, number 13 of the season. I mean, this thing, no doubters. Start that trot for Donovan. Well, kind of a random thing for Alec Burleson, but his first plate appearance of the of a game, he's hitting 173. Second plate appearance, he's hitting 367. Sees a guy first time. Goes to school. Rifles that one to left, right on cue. Brad, good call. Burleson around first. He'll stop there with a single, his first of the night. And the third Cardinals hit the game. And that 367 average in that second plate appearance, that bad boy's going up. That brings up Goldschmidt, who lined out to right. Another drive deep right. And the Cruz going back to the one track up against the wall. Can't get it. And a ricochet back toward the infield. Burleson scores. Goldie on his way to third. The throw. It's three to nothing. His first triple of the year. The Cardinals lead by three on four hits. Arenado singled and scored ahead of Donovan's homer last inning. A ball and two strikes. Swing and a little pop into shallow left center. That's going to drop for a base hit. Arenado's two for two. Goldschmidt scores. And it's four nothing Cardinals in the third. Pirates have a couple of hits, both by righties against the righty Gray. Swing the ball, hit to right. Walker comes on, slides, and lost it in the lights. It goes over his head and all the way to the wall. McCutcheon around first, heading into second base, and he'll stop there with the uh, sore knee. It's a double, I presume, uh, for McCutcheon. 100%. I mean, that's the one that it's a nightmare for all outfielders. It's that low line drive they have to run in for. And it just doesn't get above the lights. So a man in scoring position for the Pirates. And toward right center field, hit a long way. Jordan Walker again, a chance. Oh, and this time misplayed it. No blaming the lights there. McCutcheon was holding at second base. 
So he goes to third on the double. Yeah, that ball the wall in right center. So Brian De La Cruz. If the Pirates hit another double, they're going to get two runs out of this. They've hit two back to back. Fly ball deep right field. That'll get a run in. Walker backing up near the warning track. He'll make the catch. McCutcheon tags. He's coming home. Throw goes to third. Gonzalez in standing. Sack fly for Brian De La Cruz. Pirates are on the board. It is four to one. Pass the baton to your rookie over here. Now Nick York has an opportunity to pick up this RBI. He goes the other way. And this is going to drop in there for a hit and a ribby for Nick York. Got them both in. Nick York with his first RBI. Four to two. That's all it takes. It doesn't matter how you do it. Get that run in. Pirates being very aggressive on the bases here. They're three for three in steals. Cardinals can't do anything about it. And they put themselves down to a position to get a single. You got a tie game. And he got it. Cook down on strikes for the second time. That's number 200 on the season for Sonny Gray. Well, impressive milestone for Sonny Gray. Went with the sweeper yet again. One of the best pitches in baseball coming in to action today. 143 the average against that pitch. It swung on and missed 201 for Sonny Gray. Good work getting out of a crazy inning. 2 2 pitch is over the inside corner. Woodford. Takes advantage of that big strike zone, has his fourth strikeout, and one man down. And Oliver Marmel is barking about the strike zone here. DJ Rayburn said, How do you know you can't see that? And if I read lips correctly, I said, Ollie uh, said, You can't see it either. And Turner Ward got the heave hole first. Now it's Oliver Marmel. Either he's telling a fishing story or telling him how far off the plate. He has missed a few times. And I'm guessing what got Ali a hotter under the collar was only Rayburn and Turner Ward knew that that conversation was going on. Why look in the dugout and throw him out? So Ali comes out to protect his hitting coach, shakes his head. We pointed it out. It has been a very big strike zone for both starting pitchers here tonight. And that one tipped and caught a sinker center cut. And Walker can't connect. Fifth strikeout for Woodford tonight. From the belt, the runner goes. Woodford's pitch is hit down the left field line. That's going toward the corner, and it is a fair ball. Paul Goldschmidt stops at third as the ball took a bounce going over the wall in the corner. Well, Cardinals doing a little bit more slugging here. This is directly on the chalk down the line. A nice grab by that young man. Here is left-hander Joey Wentz. He's the first pirate to answer the Chevy call to the bullpen. He's got a lefty-lefty matchup to try to get Pittsburgh out of the fifth inning. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Up and in with a cutter, and Wentz comes on, strikes out Donovan, and the Cardinals strand two. Four two cards, top six. A 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. A sweeper strikes out Gonzalez. Seven strikeouts for Gray, 202 of them for the year in 166 innings. And Sonny strikes him out. Eight punch outs for the Cardinals right hand. Well, we've talked about it throughout this game with Sonny Gray. I really do believe this has been his best offering. As much swing and miss as he's gotten with the sweeper, the sinker has set up so many things. He's got him just flailing at that thing. All of a sudden, Nick York's got to be a hitting machine here at the big league level. He is a machine. Last two games, he has collected five hits to begin his major league career after starting out the season, uh, his career rather, on the series on Monday over three. Triolo dumps a shot on the first pitch into left. So two aboard. And Billy Cook next. That's nine Pittsburgh hits in the game. Last time Sonny surrendered nine hits was July 12th against the Cubs. And Daniel Descalso is on his way out. Sonny at 90 pitches. And that is going to be the end of the line. Sonny Gray pitched a beauty tonight. He's over 200 strikeouts for the season. And Matthew Libertor will go to work. Swing fly ball Ooh. right field. Got into it pretty good to the wall there it goes the opposite way Billy Cook with his first major league home run a three run shot to right in St. Louis and the Pirates take the lead five to four look at the bottom third of this lineup just go to work right there the young bucks show up Pirates lead here in St. Louis five to four as we go to the bottom of the seventh and that will bring on David Bednar we'll go against Mason Wynn to lead off bottom of the seventh swing Seven. Crowd loves it here at Bush Stadium. And it gets the Cardinals back in this ball game. What a nice moment for Mason Wynn. The bases are loaded, and now he's got to face a right-handed batter. 
in Ivan Herrera, who had a base hit his last time. The plot thickens here at Bush Stadium. Ground ball third, diving stop at third. Second base is going to be a late in drop. Cardinals take the lead. York made a great play to keep that ball on the infield. But his throw to second was low and dropped. So Herrera puts it in play. The Cardinals have the lead again. And now Newt Bar bats with the bases loaded. Swing and a base hit to center. That'll score one. Here comes Donovan. He will be stopped at third. So the Cardinals are cashing in the second, third, and fourth chances given them by the Pirates. And now it's a 7 5 lead. Hard hit ball. That one headed for the corner. That's going to score two for sure. Newt Bar on his way to third. He's got the green light. Walker has doubled home three. The Jordan Walker bases clearing double and a huge inning. Six spot in the seventh for the Cardinals. That has been a sight for sore eyes for the Cardinals offense all year. It's now a 10-5 game. 0-2 count. And a swing and a miss. IKF is down on strikes. McGreevy second. Well, what a sequence right here by Michael McGreevy started him out with a slider, fouled off strike two, and then swings right over that sinker in off the plate. Instead, it's strike three. Back to back strikeouts for McGreevy. And the Pirates have one out left. Bart is 0 for 4. He's hit the two double plays. And another strike three. McGreevy, three ninth inning strikeouts. And the Cardinals with a big offensive night. The Cardinals rallied for six in the seventh and beat Pittsburgh for the third straight day. Our final tonight, 10 to 5.